All right, guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm Shannon, and today I'm going to be reviewing G.I. Joe 25th Anniversary Cobra Saboteur, codename Firefly. Uh, my brother-in-law got this for me a few years ago for Christmas. I have yet to open it. Um, so at once I go over the packaging, I will finally open her up and take a look inside. Now, as you can see, it does have that clamshell packaging with the cardstock on the back. Nice picture of Firefly. If you recall, Firefly was in the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra series, or movie. He played a pretty important role. Uh, the toy is made by Hasbro. Let's see, you have here. This looks very similar, almost identical really, to the original cardstock design of the old toys. On the back, we have the different toys in the line. Beachhead, Firefly, Lady J, Cobra Red Ninja, Buzzer, Sergeant Stalker, Serpentor, Shipwreck, Cobra Enemy, Zartan, and then a few others that are on the way. You also have his file card here, which you can cut out. Uh, there's the G.I. Joe Club, which you can go online and join. So let's read about Cobra Saboteur, codename Firefly. Uh, file name unknown, primary military specialty sabotage and demolitions birthplace classified no one knows what his real name is or what he looks like firefly is known by his work expert in all nato and warsaw pact explosives and detonators always places his charges in the one place that affords maximum damage there is no question about his infiltration skills since no one has ever reported seeing him enter or leave any target area even Cobra Commander doesn't know much about Firefly. His fees are paid into a numbered Swiss bank account and are always payable in advance. He makes no guarantees and gives no refunds. Now, as you can see, the original Hasbro logo there, the barcode. Uh, more team members on the way, each sold separately, 2007. Uh, 25th anniversary... 1982 to 2007. You can go to gijoe.com for more. Very cool. The packaging along the edges and the G.I. Joe logo is more of an aluminum look, a metallic type look. So let's go ahead and open this beast. All right, so, like I said, he comes in the clamshell packaging. Just opens up like all G.I. Joe figures. He comes with his backpack. Uh, looks like a maybe a flamethrower or a machine gun. A pistol. A radio. Let's go ahead and take these out. Try and be very careful since I have yet I have not opened a G.I. Joe package in years. It has literally been years, probably well over a decade since I opened a G.I. Joe package. Maybe even longer. 
So here we have, it comes with his little stand. So you can see the Cobra logo on there with a peg, code name Firefly. And as with all G.I. Joe figures, he has two peg holes in his feet so that he can stand on very easily, like so. Uh, first, let's go over oh, uh, one of the improvements they made from the original uh, 80s line is this piece here. It all used to be one complete piece. They did improve it because what was always the first thing to break? The thinnest parts of the weapons. So they made this collapsible. You can pull it off. And reattach it and it's secured by two pegs and there's holes so you attach it just like so I believe this is just standard machine gun the attention to detail is amazing they have the holes in the barrel. They've even included the trigger in there, even though it doesn't move, it's still cool. Check out the other side. Looks about the same. Then we have here the Demolitions Backpack. It comes with a radio transmitter for setting off explosives. You got some plastique there. Got my dog playing in the background. <laughs> a few other technical spots. A compartment which does not open. It's just there for decoration, really. A few knobs and whatever. And it does go directly into his back. There is not... Or no, there is a hole in his back. But this mainly goes through the hole in his belt straps. That's pretty cool. Then you have his pistol. Again, they added the trigger on here. They made these weapons look as real as they possibly could, which is just amazing. And then you have his radio. It actually looks more like a uh, old 80s, early 90s cell phone, but I believe it's just a radio. Let's go over the look of this guy. So, as you can see, he's in his full face mask. All that's showing is his eyes. Kind of looks like a ninja, to most respect. Um... His head is on a ball joint. It can move up and down, side to side, rotate all the way around. It is hindered slightly by the belts across his uh, upper body. He's got some grenades on there, some pouches and whatnot. Sorry, my light just went off, so let me adjust real quick. All right, there we go, that's a little bit better. All right, still some shadow, but what are you gonna do? So, got that nice little camo style, gray and dark gray camo style all over. Got the Cobra logo on his shoulder. Uh, 
the mask seems to be a protective mask with um, extra padding in it, apparently. Probably to keep him from uh, severe injury if he gets ca caught in one of his explosions. Uh, so the arms do move up and down, out, just like usual G.I. Joe figures. Rotate all the way around. You have elbow swivel, uh, wrist swivel, moves all the way around, and that's on both arms and both wrists. <clears throat> He's got the ab crunch feature on a ball joint. Uh, which his chest moves, not his waist. Which is pretty cool. Pretty much what to expect from a G.I. Joe. He's got, his legs can move a little bit out. It'd be pretty hard to get him in a sitting position because his leg is hindered a little bit just by the design. Uh, same way with back, you can move, do the split pose, which once again it is hindered slightly. It can't go; he can't go all the way down. Uh, double knee joints, which is something different than we've come become accustomed to in GI Joe's. It used to be just a single knee joint. It used to be just a single knee joint. But now they've turned it into a double. And then they have changed it to where you got some ankle rotation. And the foot can move up and down as well. And once again, that's on both legs. He's got here... A holster for his pistol it doesn't look like it goes all the way in though maybe it could possibly be for his phone but I'm pretty sure it's for his pistol yeah it's got to be for his pistol he's got a an unremovable knife tucked into his boot so let's go ahead and put his pistol in there his gun and his radio and there you have it guys the 2007 G.I. Joe Cobra Saboteur Firefly stay tuned for more come again now we know and no one is half the battle G.I. Joe and of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.